Hey guys, it's Whitney with Southern Girl Makeup. Um, I'm back today to do a review for you for the Bare Minerals 8.0 Ready Eyeshadow Palette in the playlist. I'll go over the colors with you first. Um, this does come with eight eyeshadows, as the name says. It's $40. Um, the colors starting here are Pumped, which is a brown shade. Next to it is Chart Topper which is a really glittery taupe. Next to that is Max Volume, which is a beautiful deep jade green. But I'm really disappointed in the quality of this color because it does not show up well at all. Um, when you put it on, it just looks like a charcoal color. I can swatch it for you later and show you, but I was really let down by that. This color is louder. It's a burnished gold color, almost a brass color. The color here is One Hit Wonder. This is a really nice matte white, kind of off-white highlight shade. Really versatile. I'm really happy with that one. Next to it, I also like Most Requested, which is a reddish brown. It's very beautiful, too. Remix is a really yellow gold. And then Speaker Box, which is a deep olive color. Now, I have bought some of the 2.0 Ready eyeshadows, and I really like them. I was happy with them, but I did notice when I was swatching the other 2.0s that I sort of liked but didn't end up buying that the quality was inconsistent and the pigmentation was inconsistent. Some of them just weren't very blendable, so I shouldn't be surprised that I'm not completely happy with the 8.0 palette. Overall, I like it. I'm keeping mine. Um, I'll use it when I travel and go home for Christmas, but I won't be buying any more as Christmas gifts. Um, they definitely have a ways to go with these eyeshadows. I like them better than their loose powders, which I've said before, but these just, there's some that aren't good at all. Like, for example, this beautiful jade green color. When I swatch it on my finger, it is, again, jade green. When I put it on my hand, it's just gray. I mean, it's not just the camera. Like, it has no color at all. Even when I blend it out, it doesn't even look green at all, which really, really sucks because I love this color, and it's not that color at all. So, oh well. But I am wearing this palette today on my eyes. I'm wearing the white highlight shade along with the yellow gold and the burnished gold. So those colors are One Hit Wonder, Remix, and Louder. I'll let you see. I just did really simple makeup today. I spent like five minutes on my makeup. Um, and along the bottom of my lid, I also did a little bit of gold. But anyways, it's pretty. It'll be pretty to do soft golden looks like this. Um, don't plan on doing anything really powerful and striking with it because it's soft eyeshadow. Um, it's really pretty, but it's just not what I expected. I expected more for $40 for eight small eyeshadows than what I got. Um, but like I said, some of their 2.0s are great, so don't let this deter you from it. Just make sure you swatch them first. Um, they also have another 8.0 eyeshadow for the holidays. I think it's called the Cocktail Hour. Um, I didn't get that, and obviously I won't be getting that, but um, overall, I like it. Um, there's some disappointing things, though. Um, some good things, this highlight shade, the white, is really, really great. Um, you can see it goes on nice. Um, so anyways, I'll take the good with the bad, I'll keep it, but no more of these for me, no one for Christmas gifts. So I hope you enjoyed this review, um, I will be doing more, I'm going to try to review the Too Faced, uh, palette that they did exclusively for Sephora's holiday collection this week, I'll probably break that into two different videos because it comes with a lot of stuff. But I really like it, and I would recommend it for Christmas gifts. So keep watching, subscribe, thanks, and have a fantastic day, YouTubers.